I'm really proud to be part of the ISA Global Partnership. It's such an important and actually brave step forward to talk about speed and how it affects all of us and to take that into the social conscious, to make it a norm, a social norm, to appreciate that speed can be really harmful for ourselves and other people. How does ISA work? It's really simple. It's going to help us maintain within the speed limits. So for, if we're unlucky enough then to be involved in a collision, we're going to stand a much better chance of surviving that collision and so are the people we collide with. And ICE is a bit of a superpower. If you've got ICE on your vehicle and a pedestrian steps out in front of you, then the AEB on that vehicle, the Automated Emergency Braking System, is going to kick in at a lower speed and reduce your speed even more. And so when you hit that pedestrian, heaven forbid that happens to you, that pedestrian is going to stand far, far better chance of surviving and not having life-changing injuries. This is so important. And then the overall knowledge that we have about speed management, we know there's extensive literature, over 20 years of information. By reducing uh, traffic speed, average traffic speed by one kilometre, we reduce the chance of bit, uh, collisions, collision risk by 3%. That's one to three. So that's how important ISA is. By very, very small marginal decreases in average mean speed of traffic, we're going to have really significant impacts on reducing collisions on our roads.